Okay, so yeah, I got home last night and I was tired, so I did not do my synopsis from church. So I'm gonna give you guys it today. <laughs> um, Pasta is doing a mini series. He's always doing a mini series, and I I enjoy his mini series. I truly do. And so this one is uh, God is moving. And so last night it was God is moving. Let's join him. I think that's the best invitation we could have. We could get or could be offered to us. Best invitation ever. And I implore all of us to take him up on it. Yes, so God is moving. Let's join him. I mean, the only person we should align ourselves with is Jesus because we know guaranteed success in anything that we do right but that only goes if we follow his word you can't just join him and do our own thing no we have to join him and follow him follow his example follow his word and that's what pastor um, sermon was about his service he starts off by saying the characteristics of God. Well, I guess characteristics of God in motion. And one thing we need to do if we're going to follow God is watch, listen, think, and act. Now, Pastor Allen was saying, you know, we're good at watching. We're good at listening. We're good at thinking. But when it comes to acting putting into action the things that God wants us to do or to say or we tend to freeze up so he was saying last night we need to really start showcasing how much we are walking with God in our actions and I truly believe that I stand by him with that you know how I feel about being the one to set the example for my children. I can't ask them to do something that I'm not living myself. So I need to be that example. I need to do exactly what I'm asking them to do. And Jesus wants the same thing for us. He came and he set the example. He showed us how to live here and how to make it to heaven. And we just have to follow his, his example. Do you agree? What do you think? Okay, so my phone overheated. So I was saying, yes, another thing he talked about is that we need to be a new kind of hero. Now, I didn't write notes on that one, but I am thinking he is saying that, you know what, we need to be the one to try and help others. Apart from wanting ourselves to make it. You know what? A hero uh, comes in to save the day and to, you know, help those who are less fortunate. You know, so I, I, I think that's what he meant. I, I hope I'm explaining that one um, clearly. But he also said we need to also go through a Porsche, um, a separation. That one I understood. Because you know what? When you want to walk with God and you're trying to do what's right, uh, not everybody is going to be comfortable with that. Not everybody's going to want to support you in that. And so I think, and I truly believe this, that God make us go through a shaking, a sifter or a strainer, you know, to sift us out, to remove people from our lives that are just going to hinder our growth in Him, you know? And sometimes it's hard because it's people who we love and we want to be around, but they're just not um, in the same mind space as we are. And sometimes they tend to hinder than help. And so I truly believe that. I think um, God does put us through a separation. He also talked about, you know, the presence of the enemy. And I, I think I've mentioned that before, where when you want to walk with God and you're trying to do what's good, the enemy tend to want to show his face even more. Yeah. 
And I don't know who said being a Christian is easy. And I think I've said this before. Yeah, it's not. Because if you're walking with God, it makes the enemy mad. It doesn't make him happy. And so obviously you want to send more of his people to, you know, discourage you and to hinder your walk with Christ. Because he come, he came to seek and destroy and to take as many of us with him. So clearly he does not want to see us living for Jesus. So um, we got to remember, we're not just fighting a physical war. We're also fighting a spiritual one. Do you agree? Okay, a couple more just not to make this video too long. He also talked about um, expression of grace. You know, we need grace. Also, uh, we need to have a high value of discipline. Now, this one, you know, I am working on. And I totally get, you know, you want to show discipline in things in your life and it extends if you're disciplined in something like exercising every day or having a certain regiment you know for your life then you will be disciplined in upholding and keeping what God says but if we're not disciplined in basic things then it makes it harder to be as disciplined for the Lord and so Pastor Allen was saying that we need to exhibit a certain level of discipline you know for me I can only talk about me you know I tend to have certain standards and I don't care who you are it doesn't matter I try to maintain those standards yeah I don't care like I don't drink and so I don't um, want anybody to encourage me to, to drink it's something I don't do if I do have some sips of wine it's at my house you'll find that I will drink at my house. But if I go out, my rule is I do not consume alcohol. And so I tend to try to stick to that. It's very rare if it, if I have a couple sips of anything when I'm not out. But that's my standard for myself. And I intend to keep it. I have other standards and it doesn't matter. I don't care who you are or what you feel. I tend to maintain that right and so in doing that in my life it sometimes it makes it easier to uphold what God says no not everything I try <laughs> I ain't perfect no but I'm just saying you know and I understand what Pastor Allen was saying if we are you know structured in certain things it makes it easier do you guys agree or do you disagree and I think there was a couple more. He said we also need um, great effort required. And, you know, in everything we need effort. We need to put in the work. We need to have that desire, you know, want to do it. We shouldn't be doing it because we feel like we have to. We should do it because we want to. I always feel I want somebody to love me because they want to love me, not because they have to love me. You know, I, I am big on that. Do you guys agree? Okay, that's what service was about. I hope I was able to explain it. But if I didn't explain it in a way that was helpful, you can always tune in to YouTube and go see WOC, World Outreach Church, and get it for yourself. Anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed uh, day. Until the next one.